No one who sits at the, at, the, uh, at the feet of Jesus will never be the same again. You know, that name is so powerful. Amen. The name Jesus is so powerful. And the Bible says, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that He is Lord. No one who experiences His love will ever be the same again. Amen? Tapos sabi niya, oh, oh, oh. Masyado kayong seryoso. You know, one of the tasks of us pastors, especially every time we are given the opportunity to speak on the pulpit, yes. Because it's so, I felt, I feel the heart of God when He says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. All of us pastors who are here, all of the, oh, we have three preach teams. That is our task. For all of us, or those souls who will be part of our life will never be ignorant again. Amen? We're here because of one thing and one thing only. We're here because we want to know who Jesus is. Jesus has become just a symbol of our religion. Never knowing who he is. We know we know here, we know about him, but we never really know who he is. And that is the task of us who preaches in this pulpit. To share with you the heart of God, the plan of God, the mind of God. And his his plan is to save you and me. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. To save us from what? What is salvation? Paulit-ulit, I, I will continue to repeat this again and again and again and again until all of us who are here today will understand and grasp and embrace this gift. This is the gift that we never really, we have just put aside. Salvation. We just put this aside because it's free. Everything that's, that is free has no premium in us, right? But always remember this, though it is free, God gave us His everything, His only begotten Son. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, are you ready to hear now? Are you here to listen to the Word of God today? Amen. Now I am saved. The question is, what is next? After you have received Jesus Christ. The Bible says if you receive Jesus Christ from your heart. If you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You will be saved. Ephesians chapter 2 says that our salvation is a free gift. Not by works. But what happened after we are saved. Heaven is real my friends. And hell is real. We need to be saved from the fires of hell. Who here, let me just ask you, can you all close your eyes? Just, I just, just want, want, would like to um, know the heart of everyone who's here today and where you stand from, in the, for, where, where you stand in, in the face of God. Go, close your eyes, please, everyone close your eyes. Who here is assured that when your life ends here on earth, you will go to heaven. Lift up your hands, your right hand. Okay. All right. You may open your eyes. You see, until now, not everyone is sure. The Bible assures us, assures us that when the time comes, we will all go to heaven. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kasama kita. And this is the reasons why I, I would like we would like to be assured that all of us who's here right now will be sure that when the time comes, we will all enter that pearly gates. Heaven is real. Ayon natin sa hell. Amen? Amen. We don't want to go to hell. That's the reason why God loves us so much. He gave us His Son so that we will not suffer in hell. We need to be saved from what? We need to be saved also from the evil of this fallen world. 
This world is so evil, so dark. Who here would like to thank God because He took us out of darkness and now we are into the light? Amen. Malalim po ba yun? O naligo ba kayo? Ayaw niyo magtaas ng kamay. Ano ba yung problema niyo ha? Yan. <laughs> Sabi mo sa katabi mo, I love you in spite of. <laughs> Kaya pwede ka magtaas ng kamay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we need to be safe from the evil of this world. This fallen world. We were all fallen once, right? Before we came to know the Lord, right? Where were you? Can you can you just think about this? What could have you been doing if you did not come to know the Lord? Where are you right now? I could be dead right now. Or I could be, you know, a man with so many sons and daughters and with different women. Because that was my life before. I could have cancer now of of, of the liver because I was a drunkard before. I could be in jail, in prison still right now because I was an angry person before. But I praise and thank God. Amen. God pulled me out of darkness Amen. and have placed me into the light. Amen. Praise God. Para kayo nagpapatay lang ng lamok. Ano ba? <laughs> praise God. And we need to be saved so we can discover the clarity of purpose for our existence. All of us here, we were created not just to occupy a space. You are here not just to occupy a chair. You are here because God wants you to discover His God-ordained purpose for you. You have a purpose. Sabi mga sa katabi mo, you're a special child. Yeah. <laughs> you are a special child. <laughs> but praise and thank God because God loved us so much that He gave up. He gave His only begotten Son for us. Amen. Salvation. Say it with me, salvation. Salvation, salvation starts and ends at the cross of Jesus Christ. You will not do anything but accept Him as your Lord and Savior. You will not have, many people will say, I want, uh, well, I, 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 I will only go to your church if I'm ready. I will only surrender my life to Jesus if I'm ready. If I no longer have a sin or if I'm ready. I tell you, my friends, that will not happen. Your sins will not be erased until you come in humility at the foot of the cross. Salvation starts and ends at the cross. Now, now that I am saved, what's next, please? Salvation day is done. Amen? If you have received Jesus Christ, salvation day is done for us. The next day to work out is judgment day. Amen? Amen? Amen. Everybody, again, I would like to erase the usual misunderstanding that all of humanity will be judged. No. Not all human beings will be judged because those who did not receive Jesus Christ, their names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And if their names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, they're already prejudged, right? They will go to hell. But those who have received Jesus Christ, tayo, we will be judged. Amen? We will be judged. And I have a separate preaching for that. I'm going to talk to you about that. If you want to know more about that, talk to your pastors. Because this is such a very important, very, very important event in our life. Judgment Day. And finally, we have Rewards Day. Amen? You see, if we are not taught what to do next after our salvation event in, in our life, we will just be living life on our own. We shall end up being saved, safe, and seated. We will just end up waiting for the day that we die and go to heaven. Salvation is a gift. A gift has to be opened. And inside the gift, there's so many things God has offered in store for us. Freedom. Say it with me, freedom. freedom. There's freedom. There's hope. There's faith. There's trusting people and trusting God above all. There's so many gifts. Have you opened your gift lately? Have you opened your gift lately? But if nobody will preach to you, to all of us, and if nobody preach to me, teach us about the Bible, and then we will still 
stay ignorant even if we are saved. What do we do next? You know, the Bible has so many stories just to teach us what happens after we have received Jesus Christ. What, happen, what happens after we come to know who Jesus Christ is? Do you know Saul? Who became Paul? Saul was converted from a religious fanatic to a defender of the cross. From religion to an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. I was changed. I was a religious fanatic before. I always went to I always go to church. You know, I always spend money for the candles. The pink candle if you want to have a girlfriend, you know. <laughs> the green green candle if you were praying for money, right? The black candle if you want to curse somebody. <laughs> right? I used to be like that. I know. I know. I, I pray everything that man, this, this man made lists. I have done that, but it never changed my life. Just like, but Saul is different. If you come to know Jesus Christ, something will change. Tanong mo sa katabi mo, may nabago na ba sayo? What are the changes that you have received? You know, dati, ang pangalan mo, si Mang. Ngayon ba, Joy na. <laughs> Di ba? Dat dati, barites ka. You know? You're a, gossip, uh, a gossiper, but now, you are somebody who encourages, an encourager now, right? I used to be Willy Voice Albae. Now, I'm Papi Pogi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There has to be a change if you receive Jesus Christ. He's truly received Jesus Christ. Paul and Silas, for example. You know, Paul and Silas, they were serving God. But seemingly, a bad experience in jail turned out to be the way for the salvation of the prison guard. Our tests can be a testimony to bring souls to Christ. Our sufferings, our sacrifices, the testings of our faith will eventually change us for the better and God can use that to bring souls to Christ you please ask your seatmate tell your seatmate don't waste the suffering don't waste the suffering see Paul and Silas in spite of they were doing the work of God they were in prison they were still in prison but in prison they worship God. So, in season or out of season, worship God. Amen? Amen. Worship God. And who else? La the next is Ananias and Sapphira is a powerful testimony of men and women who love God but tested the Spirit. God cannot be mocked. Tell your seatmate, God cannot be mocked. He knows everything. He's omnipotent. He's all-powerful, omniscient. You know, he knows everything. Nothing can be hidden from God. And that's what happened with Ananias and Sapphira. They lied. They should have not done that. They could have said, you know, be truthful. But they still lied. But God allowed this to be part of the stories. So that he may, he may show us that, you know, we must not test the Holy Spirit. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, umayos ka, ha? <laughs> umayos ka. <laughs> Last week, we spoke about Zacchaeus. Such a beautiful story, right? Zacchaeus, you know, Zacchaeus, the, the tax collector. He sought God. He responded to Jesus' request to invite him in his home. The presence of Jesus in his life led him to repent from his sins and made amends to return the money that he corrupted from people. If you receive Jesus Christ, repentant, repentance is the one of the fruit. Amen? Repentant. Repent with a repen re repentance is one of the fruit. 
You cannot accept Jesus Christ and not repenting from your sin. It is not it is not enough that you you uh, uh, na mag malungkot ka lang or to confess your sin. You have to repent. Do not repeat. Repent. Do not repeat. You see, when you come become a Christian, Christ will affect all of our life, every part of our life. All things become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 If anyone be in Christ, is a new creation. The past has gone and the new has come. Christ's presence will affect every part of us. You will have, a, you will have new thoughts, new attitudes, new values, and new sensitivities. The Apostle Paul tells us to renew our mind. You know, and what do we, how do we renew our mind? The Bible will cleanse us. The Bible is described as pure water. Amen. Rivers of water. Water cleanses. That is why we continue to encourage you, my friends. Read your Bible. You want to clean your thoughts? You want to have new attitudes and new values? New sensitivities? Read your Bible. New priorities will dramatically affect our relationship. Dati, during worship service, pag may invitation ka, you go to the invitation and skip worship service. But now, who here is excited uh, on Saturday, Sundays? Who is excited to be here on Sundays, right? Right? And nothing and no one can take you away from being in the presence of our God on Sundays. <laughs> New priorities. You will view everything in your life from a Christ-like perspective. You will see through the eyes of Jesus. Before you, you look at your, your, uh, your flatmates or your, uh, your, your, your uh, accommodation, sa partition mo, mga ganyan. No? No? Naku? Iba na naman ang kasama. Naku? Madaling araw na naman umuwi. Naku? You know? Mukhang dalawang araw hindi umuwi ah. Naku, balbasarado yung nagatid. You know? This will all change. Instead of looking them, the sinners, through the eyes of the world, you look at them through the eyes of the Word, who is Jesus Christ. They need Jesus. Amen. Punta sa impyerno yan. Hmm. Baka makasama ka. <laughs> Di ba? Right? Look at them as someone who needs the Lord. Christianity is not something you add to your life. It is life. It is life. Christianity is not only on Sundays. Christianity starts when you get out of that, of that door. Amen. It is a lifestyle. When you become a Christian, God gives you a new heart so that everything becomes new. You, you, you used to be an angry person. God will, will teach you to, be, to, to love, not to be angry, to be more patient, right? The fruit of the Spirit will be in you. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God will change your heart. A new mind like that of Christ, so you think differently. Instead of, you know, instead of retaliating, you just keep quiet. Just keep quiet and ask the Lord. In, 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 instead of responding with anger and to retaliate and to hurt also, you just keep quiet. Amen? That is the way of Jesus Christ. You become sensitive to sin, so you are no longer comfortable with it. Even throwing a candy wrapper will disturb your heart, your spirit. Am I right? Amen? Your reaction will be affected as you are made aware of what is honoring to God and what is not. Before, you always you know, click on that porn site. But now, you know that is not honoring God. And you stop. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, stop. Sabi mo sa mata niya, stop. Okay? <laughs> because that is not honoring God. Your relationships will now be guided by the Holy Spirit. And destructive habits and attitudes previously immune to change will be transformed. I never thought that I can kick off cigarette, uh, cigarette smoking. I was a chain smoker. 
But when God challenged me, him or Marlboro. Him or Marlboro. So I chose him. Right? Although it's difficult. I thought it was difficult. You know one thing I discovered? If you surrender something that is difficult to God, He will be with you. He will enable you. He will empower you. Amen? <laughs> Praise God. So it's so wonderful to be to be in the house of God. It's so wonderful to be a part of the family of God. You're not just a worshiper here. You are a child of God. Amen. Remember that. Because of Jesus Christ, we now have the privilege to become a child of God. Amen. Yeah. Have you noticed a change in you? These changes should be very noticeable. Amen. And it is the greatest fulfillment knowing that you have made that right decision to follow Jesus. Can we all read this together? No true born again Christian would want to exchange this for anything. Amen. Amen. Hindi mo ipagpapalit yung kapayapaan. Hindi mo pagpapalit yung you, know, you, you can never exchange that pure love, the joy, the peace that God can only give to you. Amen. Now I'll start to preach. We shall take a look at and learn about another Bible character. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. So, yung sa katabi mo. Oh, can you put? Yeah. Can you can you raise your your your, your yeah? Ganyan, ganyan, ha? Tapos make it like that. Ayan. Tapos ilagay mo sa sa ano mo? Sa tagiliran ng katabi mo. <laughs> Kasi po nakakalungkot kapag merong ano uh, you know, nakakalungkot kapag may natutulog. Alam mo 'yon? Nakakalungkot kasi pinaghihele sila ni Taning. Yan. May mina, may malalaman ka pa. Tulog na, <laughs> right? <laughs> Today we're going to talk about another Bible character. Kilalang kilala niyo po to si Peter. Peter Peter, emotional, we'll talk about emotional and spiritual maturity. Amen? But Peter declared, even if I have to die with you, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. Mm -hmm. And all the other disciples said the same. Join me in prayer. Father, thank you, Lord God, for you are going to teach us once again, Lord God, what to do next, how to respond next to that salvation blessing that you have given us through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. I pray, Father, for you to open all the our eyes, ears, heart, everything that we have right now. Lord, our spirit, Lord God, let our spirit catch, Lord God, the message clearly. And use me now, Lord, to be your messenger. Let all words that comes out of my lips, Lord God, come from your loving heart. In Jesus' name, amen. And let me just share with you a short context before we read our scripture for today. In chapter 25, because we're going to read chapter 26. In chapter 25 of this gospel account, the apostle Matthew, Jesus warned us that not all of those who expects to enter the gates of heaven will do so. Huh? Read Matthew 25, the whole chapter. Not all who expects to enter the kingdom of God will do so. He spoke about the parable of the ten virgins. It's a parable. Let those who have heard, let them hear. Amen? Storia. Just to prove a point. He says the ten parables. Ten are ready. Ten are not. Ten remained outside. Uh, five remained outside. Five remained inside. If you're going to look at the mathematics of God, of Jesus, He was, he was saying that 50% only 50% will enter the kingdom of God. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, saan 50% ka? <laughs> Which 50% will you be in? But as your pastors, we your pastors, we, we, will, we will make it, we, we will try our best so that all of us here will see ourselves inside the gates of heaven. Amen? Talaga naman, parang yung mga... Nage-effort po kami. Wala naman yung palakpak niyo. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. 
And then he spoke about the parable of the three servants. This, this parable encourages us to stop being saved, safe, and seated. Stop being saved, safe, and seated. God has entrusted us something. Use it. Let it multiply for God's glory. He was saying, you are now saved. But stop being saved, safe, and seated. Start working so that many will also be saved through you. Then Jesus spoke about the separation, ito, separation of the sheep and the goat. The sheep and the goat. The sheep are those, is the real flock of God. The goats are not. You know, it, the goats are those who accepted, who received Jesus Christ, but there was no change in them. Their hearts were not changed. Their priorities not changed. Their mind were not changed. Nothing was changed. They just go to church. But God will sift all of this. Separate sheep from the goats. Sabi niya, dito ka ba? Pag sheep ka, sabi mo sa kanya, sa katabi mo, ba. <laughs> if you are a goat, you say, meh. <laughs> right? Kasi mga goat makasarili. Selfish. Di ba? Why? Meh. <laughs> Say yung selfish na bisaya. Kasi hindi mi. <laughs> Sorry, bakit ko ba mo yun? <laughs> but seriously, you know, God will separate. He knows who is, who is His. That's why we cannot walk this earth holding hands with Satan and with God. You have to choose. Amen? Now walk with me now through through uh, uh, chapter 26 of the Gospel according to Matthew. What was happening then? The leading priests and elders were meeting at the residence of Caiaphas. Nagbi meeting po sila. The high priest, Caiaphas, high priest. No? Hestas, kay, ano tabi niya? Nang kapitbahay mo sa asawa niya? Hestas, Sudas, Barabas? Caiaphas? You know? They were meeting there and they were planning. They were plotting. How to, to, how to capture Jesus Christ and to kill Him. Grabe naman mga priest dito. Man, they even thought of killing. Sabihin mga sa katabi mo, choose well who you follow. Choose well who you follow. And then at that time, Jesus was at the home of Simon, who Jesus healed from leprosy. Hindi ito si Peter, ha? Simon Peter. There, there, you, there was, it was there in the house of Simon whom he healed with lepr from leprosy. A um, woman with an alabaster jar of perfume came and washed his head. And Jesus Christ prophesied. And, and the apostles were so mad that they were, they were indig indignant. Why not just sell this perfume so that we can help more of the few, uh, uh, more, 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 more of the poor? Yeah? And then Jesus Christ says, you know, you don't know what you're saying. This woman came here to wash my head, to prepare me for burial. And then what he said was this, what he has, she has done. You will always read it as we are reading it now. Amen? She's now popular. So, mo sa katabi mo, ikaw popular ka ba? You know, because what you do for God, what you do for God, you will be popular no, in heaven. Amen? Then, Judas. Ayan na. You know, Judas was one of the disciples. He was full of disappointments. Why? The reason why he, he joined the band, he joined the disciples, he joined Jesus Christ, he wanted to recruit Jesus because he was leading, he was part of the rebellion. But because of what Jesus Christ was teaching, he says, ah, okay, I rest my case. He will not join us. So he was so full of disappointment that he was coerced to betray Jesus Christ. 30 silver pieces. 30 silver pieces. He, the, the, you know, sobra pa nga ito si Judas. He even attended the Last Supper. So in the Last Supper, Jesus Christ predicted, one of you will betray me. Sabi nila, no, no, not me, not me, not me. And then, Jesus Christ said, the one who, uh, whose cup I will dip my bread will betray me. And he went to Judas. 
And then Judas, you see, he was there, but he was not there. You know, he could have said, no, Jesus, I'm not, I, I, will not, I will not betray you, but no, you see it. Sometimes you are here, but you're not listening. Are you here? Sabi mo sa katabi mo. Are you here today? Right? To those who are watching us, you're, though you are, the, you are far away from us, but I know that you are also here. Let's welcome them. Yeah? Palakpakan natin sila. Hindi nakikita, no? To those who are watching with us. Let me continue this. Now, he even attended the Last Supper. Let's pick up from the story. Then Jesus told them, This very night you will all fall away on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. After I have risen. Hindi nila pinakikinggan yun. I will strike the shepherd dead. And then he will rise again. I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I will never. I never will. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, This very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the others, Gumaya. <laughs> all the others, other disciples said the same. You know, most of us know who Peter is, right? Now he uh, uh, he is the one of one of the beloved three. There are three very close to Jesus: Peter, John, and James. Now, to the ignorant, siya yung santo ng mga sabongero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you see uh, big statues with uh, uh, may 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 inahen. Tapos meron pang susi. No? <laughs> the Bible tells us how Peter was called. He was trained, he was mentored, and he was loved by Jesus Christ. He was loved by Jesus Christ. Peter Peter did love Jesus. He also loved Jesus Christ. In fact, he said that he was willing to be imprisoned with Jesus and if need be, to die for him. He said in, in, in verse 35, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Now he believed in Jesus Christ. But when his love for Jesus Christ was tested, he saved himself and denied Jesus Christ. Not once, but thrice. How many times have you denied Jesus Christ? Lord, you know, take, take, take it, Lord. Not my boyfriend. Take, take, take it all. Not my girlfriend. Take, take, take it all. Not my career. Take, take, take it all. Not my car. <laughs> the irony was that he feared the accusation of a servant woman. Servant woman. This Peter, he loved and believed, but he used his emotions in following and serving Jesus Christ. The Bible gave us a glimpse of Peter's, uh, of Peter's true faith. Remember? Remember this? When Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ was walking on water, remember that? They were, you know, just, you know, riding on, on their boat and then some, some one, one day, and then some, suddenly they saw somebody wa walking on water. And then says, who oh, is a ghost? It's a ghost. Mumu. Multu. And then Jesus Christ said, I'm not a ghost. It is me. It is I. You know what Jesus, Peter said? Jesus, tawagin mo nga ako. Just call me and I will, you know, I will walk. If you just allow me, call me, call me, please. Call me, call me, call me, call me, please. And then Jesus said, come. If you are one of the twelve and you saw Peter going down, what will you think about Peter? This guy is crazy. Right? He's got, this guy is crazy. No? How many of you now, when you receive Jesus Christ and you turned your back 
from bad influences and then they say you are fanatic you are crazy who are you here when you when you turned your back and decided to be baptized in the name of the father and not the son and all the holy spirit your family tells you you're crazy i now disown you because you have changed your religion who here would tell somebody like us like us who will obey god god's command even if it is difficult even if it is in the eyes of many you are doing the wrong thing who here can do that peter did it he walked on water he was he believed in jesus he had faith in jesus christ but when he saw the waves and we saw he saw the, the strong winds he lost focus on jesus christ and he, he he saw the waves and the wind and then he started to sink sabi mo nga sa katabi mo please tell your seat may stay focused stay focused in all of your journey stay focused even if seemingly difficult God is there with you, holding your hands, making you, giving you strength for that next step. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. But once you look at, you, you are out of focus, and then the Bible says he started to sink. <laughs> but the good news is this. Say it with me, immediately. 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 See, Jesus Christ held on to his hands even before he sank and then with a rebuke he says why did you <laughs> why how many times has god rebuked us why did you doubt why did you doubt matapang may emosyon ngunit ito ay isang mababaw na pag-ibig kay Kristo just like Peter, we too fail in our faith because we lose focus on Jesus Christ. Most often the nice because we truly believe in ourselves, not in Jesus, right? This is the reason why. Because we believe in our own capacity, in our, strong, uh, in our own strengths, in our money, in our authority, in our power, not truly believe in, in Jesus Christ. Your emotions lang ang na-activate sa atin. When we accepted Jesus Christ. Ito pa yung isang istorya. Are you still with me? You want another story? Another story? O oh, wag na lang. Na. Closing na. Oh. Another story. Ito naman. Now Peter was sitting on, in the court and a servant girl came to him. Ito na po. Subukan na. You also were with Jesus of Galilee, she said. The servant girl said, you were Jesus. Well, you, you were also with, G, uh, with, G, with Jesus. But he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about. He said, hindi ko alam sinasabi mo. Then he went out to the gateway. Another servant girl saw him and said to the people there, this fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with an oath. I don't know the man. Ang taong ito, kasama ni Jesus at taga Nazareth, hindi ko kilala ang sinasabi, taong sinasabi mo. And after a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, Surely you're one of them. You are, your, your accent gives you away. You see? Sabi, parang ano, ano, sabi nila, Bisaya daw ako, wala man sila ebidensya. <laughs> Di ba? Di ba gano? <laughs> the, your accent niya gave him away. <laughs> and immediately, the rooster crowed. Ayan. Kaya po siya nanging santo ng mga sabongero. <laughs> the rooster crowed. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, you're no longer ignorant. Yeah? Okay. Peter will not, is not the reason why you will, you will win on cockfights, ha? Huh? Then Peter remembered the word Jesus Christ had spoken. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Other, the other, other, um, uh, other um, uh, gospel account tells us that Jesus looked at him. Nag-eye to eye sila ni Jesus Christ. 
And Jesus Christ did not look at him because, you know, convicting him or, you know, telling him that, you know, I told you so. No, Jesus Christ looked at him because Jesus Christ felt his remorse. He wept bitterly. This man, this fisherman, big guy, strong guy, now weeping bitterly because he knew he denied me. How many times have we done that? How many times will you, will you weep because you have denied the command of God? You disobeyed the command of God. How many times? You know when you know that God is not pleased, will not be pleased with your, with your decision, but you still did so. How many times? And you know what? Every time that we sin, God does not punish us. Because the consequence of your sin is also is already a punishment, right? But God will discipline us. And He cries when we sin. Why? Because He knows that we are hurting ourselves. Are you with me still? God doesn't want you to hurt. Just, that's the reason why there are commands. Commands are not restrictive. Laws are not restrictive. The commands of God are not restrict. Does, it does not restrict our freedom, but it protects our freedom. Matthew 27. This is such... Uh, read this again. And then meditate on this. And then tell yourself, Lord... I will never disown you again. Amen? I will never disown you again. Can you say that now? Lord, I will never disown you again. Again. Amen? Make that a commitment. Tell your seatmate, I will never disown Jesus again. Praise the Lord. If you have received Jesus Christ the way Peter did, out of our emotions, Believe siya kasi sa mga miracles and sa mga blessings from Jesus. He, he was there every time Jesus Christ preaches. But He was really not there. Parang, parang, par just like me before, I go to worship services. But though I go to church, but church never changed me. Never did. Never did. You know why? Because I always listen, I always listen to sermons, not preaching. When you read the Bible, it's not sermon that you will see. It's preaching, right? It's a message of God through the message. See? Through the message that will, you, will, you will get from the Bible. We receive Jesus Christ using our emotion. We put Jesus Christ in the back seat. You see? When we, use, when we have received Jesus Christ using only our emotion, we are putting ourselves first before Jesus Christ. We are putting Jesus Christ at the back seat kasi ikaw palagi ang nauuna. Are you still awake? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kung sumukape. <laughs> Tinanggap mo si Jesus with your emotions. Kapag you were experiencing a low in our emotion. Yeah, ito yung mga people who accept Jesus Christ. Tinanggap mo si Jesus kasi very low ka. Yung, yung feeling mo, alone ka. You need someone to listen to your rants and emotions, emotional fits. Then you go to church kasi naimbitihan ka because you were invited. And you like the feeling in the church. Very welcoming. Welcome to the family. You know, they accepted me. They embraced me. Wow, what a wonderful feeling. And you started to attend life groups. And you are enjoying attending live groups kasi nakikinig sila sa bottomless mong sharing. Ano yung bottomless na sharing? Walang katapusan? Ayaw ngang magyan yung microphone sa iba, iba, ibalik yung microphone. Then, you accept Jesus Christ dahil feeling of acceptance. And then suddenly, your, your, your feeling low, emotionally low, starts to shift back into high gear. Maganda na naman ang feeling mo. Then, kapag feeling mo ay hindi nakatulad ng dati, no? And you, that feeling is no longer there. Why? Because your, your life group mates, now, is, are, they are focusing to new souls, right? Ikaw nakakalimu nakakalimutan ka na nila. Then that feeling is gone. You know what happens? 
nalalaglag tayo. Amen? Nalalaglag tayo. Aalis sa church na may, no? aalis sa church, may iiwan ng pang chismis. <laughs> Di ba? Kung aalis, sana umalis ka na lang. Huwag ka na mag -chismis. But you know what? If you, if you see yourself a real part of ACCI family, sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi mo sisiraan ang pamilya mo. Amen? Hindi mo sisiraan ang tatay mo. Right? At tatay at mga nanay mo. So, you, you accept Jesus Christ out of your emotions. Mababaw po ito. Amen? Mababaw. Mababaw. And we put Jesus Christ at the back seat of our life. Tinanggap mo si Jesus Christ with your emotion kapag you are marred by problems. Punong-puno ng problema. Yung kapag sobra-sobrang problema ay meron ka o yung may mga issues na mabigat, sa kakalamang pupunta at lapit kay Jesus. When you're so filled with problems, that's the only time when you go to Jesus. We accepted Jesus Christ because for us, Jesus Christ is the problem solver. Hello? Jesus Christ is the problem solver. He is a vendo machine. No, He is the problem solver. Rather than our Savior. He is not our problem solver. He is our Savior. Amen? He is our Savior. Pero kapag hindi maganda ang nangyayari sa buhay natin, kahit na simba tayo ng simba, nalalaglag si Jesus sa buhay natin. Sabi nga ni Job, remember Job? In Job chapter 2 verse 9 to 10, you know, Satan asked permission no, to, uh, uh, to work on Job. Satan said, the reason why he's worshiping you because you gave him everything. He has money, land, crops, cattle, yes, wonderful children, you know, and then uh, allow me to test him, you see, and then God says, okay, test him, but don't kill him, don't kill him, you see, Satan cannot touch you unless he asks permission to God, then number one, Satan cannot touch you unless you allow him to touch you. You allow him to touch you. Amen? Because you are a child of God. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are a child of God. Pero ito yung malungkot. Satan took everything. Iniwan yung wife. And then the wife said to him, are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. And then he replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? Kapag naman, you know, kapag nasagot naman yung prequest natin, okay, eh, di ba? But what if not? Right? Don't make Jesus Christ your problem solver. He is your Savior. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ said, in this world, you will have problems. You will have issues. Our problem not only not comes from God, it comes from our wrong decisions, right? It comes from people around us. No, we are we, we are victims of the world, right? And Satan, if he asks permission, God knows if he will give him he will he will give Satan permission because he knows our faith. So don't come with God to God with your problems. Don't. Because already, God moves even before you ask. <laughs> when you come to God, sabi nga, no? in all things, worship Him. In all things, thank Him. Amen? Praise God. Now, you are, tinanggap mo si Jesus with your emotion kapag ob you are obligated to accept Jesus out of our religious background. Kasi Catholic ang family ko. Kasi Baptist ang family ko. O oh, kasi Pentecostal ang, pam ang, 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 ang pamilya ko. You know, you're not truly converted, but you just followed your family. Remember this, my friends. Salvation is personal. Not all of those who come here, can I can say, are true born again. Amen? But I, we will do our best so that everyone who's here today 
will truly accept Jesus Christ and be truly born again. Amen. Praise God. You know, kaya don't 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 accept Jesus Christ because of your family, of your religious background, of your culture. Tinanggap mo si Jesus Christ with your emotion kapag you were talked into believing Jesus Christ. You were just talked into believing. Ang galing kasi ng ang kasi ng mag-evangelize, eh, no? No? Kay bigen din kasi kasi kaya hindi maindian. You know, you were talked into believing. Seek him personally. Tell his mate, seek him personally. Don't just believe. Don't just believe. Seek him personally. And then you you, you tinanggap po si Jesus with your emotion kapag if you're inspired by God's works to others. Kaya mo tinanggap, uy, magaling si Jesus kay brother ah. Uy, yung problema nito, sinold niya. Uy, ako din. Sige, lalapit din ako kay Jesus. So, solvin din niya problema ko. Pero ang tunay na problema, hindi yung problema mo. Ang problema, ikaw. <laughs> Amen? Ang problema, ikaw. Don't just be amazed by God's work. God's work and miracles to others. He is also your God. Amen? Tinanggap mo si Jesus with your emotions kapag paging overacting ka with no commitment to action. Yeah, huwag ka kumaka-worship. Talaga naman, lutang na lutang ang boses. Parang, ano mo, wala na nga sa tono, lutang na lutang pa. Grabe. You know? Kung maka-amen, maka-amen din. Ako, pag nag-amen, napapa-amen lahat. Amen! Pero when was... <laughs> Pero when was the last time? When was the last time we were, we, we were asked to get out of our comfort zone and give our time to Him? Yung effort natin, even our finances, no matter how big and small it is. Remember that we were blessed to be a blessing to others. Amen? Right? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, wag overacting. Dapat may action. You know? Let's give the Lord a clap offering for our volunteers. Yeah, early, early this morning. Early this morning, the volunteers were here. You know? Meron pa nga, nag-start kayo, 5 o'clock? Sino ba yung, ha? Huh? Imagine mo, don't watch. 5 o'clock, andito na. Imagine mo giving their time. And then, the volunteers were here. Aga-aga pa. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, agahan din natin, ha? <laughs> yeah, ako. Nine o'clock pa, nag-worship pa, mamaya-maya na lang. Mm. <laughs> Wag overacting, okay? Ang galangan ng Panginoon, action. Amen. Amen. Sino dito gusto maging volunteer pa? Well, ako lang talaga. Yeah, dami. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Alam mo po, kukunin na natin yung kabila. <laughs> Kailangan natin ng mga volunteers. Ha? Kailangan natin na, you know, we were expecting 200 hanggang 400 dyan sa kabila to worship services. We need you. Sabi mo, swerte ka, dito ka ngayon sa 100. Amen? We need you. We need you to, to take care of our back end, you know? To be, to be part of the worship team, of the media team. To be part of uh, the teaching team, our teachers. Palakpakan natin mga teachers natin. Gagaling nila, grabe. Gagaling na mga teachers natin. Hats off, no? Oh, uh, the leadership ni Pastora Shane. No? Teacher na teacher talaga. Hats off tayo. Palakpakan natin si Pastora Shane and the team. Praise the Lord. See? You ushers, nako grabe mga ushers, di ba? Yung mga ushers ang babait nila, di ba? Hindi kayo sinisimangutan, ano? Right? Yung mga ushers. You know, we need men and women to prepare us for a greater harvest. So come, wag ka lang overacting. It's time for us to act. Amen. Wag kang mahiya. Kapag nahiya tayo, you know, if we are of the gospel of Christ, kakahiya din tayo ni Lord. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, May gift ka. Gamitin natin yan. Amen. We are organizing things now because we are preparing for a bigger harvest. Jesus Christ is coming soon. 
Amen. We need men and women to go out, reach out and touch lives. No, we will we 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 will encourage you. We will we will set up classes so that we no so that no Christian will be ignorant of his word. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, wag overacting action. Yeah, wag overacting action lang. And finally, you know. <laughs> You tinanggap mo si Jesus Christ with your with your emotion if you never opened your Bible. Wow. Tinanggap mo si Jesus Christ. You know, we have no desire to know him, but we want him to know, but we, we have no no we have we, we we have no desire to know him, but we want him to know our desires. Ano yan? We become consumer Christians. Every time na pupunta kay dito, Lord, pahingi nito. Lord, pahingi noon. Pahingi nito. Pahingi noon. Yung Panginoon, pahingi noon na. And yet, we spend more time with social media. Mm-hmm. Sino po dito may rayuma na? Ha? Kaka-i-scroll. Ha? <laughs> Wag kayo nirarayo mo na kay scroll no? Whew. This saddens the heart of God. My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Start your day right, my friends. Again, devotionally read your Bible first and foremost. Bible muna bago TikTok. Bago muna bago YouTube. Amen. Yung iba nakatulugan yung series ano series 1 episode 10. Pag gising mo gusto mong umpisahan uli yung episode 10 dahil nakatulog ka. Bible muna because the Bible will prepare you for the day ahead, for the week ahead, for the month ahead, for the year ahead. Amen. Start your day right. Not only read your Bible, journal your journey. Write down your journey, your daily devotions. And I would like to encourage all of the life leaders here, please, encourage your members to share their daily devotion. Umpisahan po natin sa mga leaders. Amen? Leaders, please post your daily devotion. Okay. Share your daily devotions with others. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mag-tiktok ka para kay Lord. Ha? Huh? Mag-tiktok ka para yan. Uh, ilan lang po yung mga senaryo kung bakit maraming tumanggap kay Kristo ngubat kalaunan they fail. These are some of the reasons why they accepted Jesus with their emotion. No, even if they accepted Jesus Christ, later on they fail. No, madali naman kasing maniwala kung lahat ay sumusunod sa plano natin, eh, right? It's easy to for, to to it's easy to to uh, to believe if everything is okay. If uh, we feel that all of our, pray- our, our, our prayers are being heard by God, but if it will not happen, then emotions kick in. nag emote ka. Nagiging hudas. No? Nagiging hudas because you failed. You, you, you were not able to get what you wanted. Nagiging, nagiging Peter. Sobrang tapang. Pero pagdating sa subukan, laglag. Amen. Nagiging Tomas. Naging Thomas pala ito. Tomas. Panglagay pala sa kain yung Tomas. Thomas. <laughs> Nagiging Thomas ka. Right? You doubt God. And the rest, kapag nagkasubukan, tumatalikod sa Panginoon. Amen. Hindi tayo iiwan ng Diyos. Tayo lamang ang nangiiwan sa Kanya. True? Hindi tayo tatalikuran ng Diyos. Tayo lamang ang tumatalikod sa Kanya. Sapagkat tapat siya sa Kanyang mga salita. Nang sinabi niya, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Totoo yun. Ang kailangan natin, yes. balik lang tayo sa Kanya. Hinihintay Kanya. Hinihintay niya tayo. Amen? Napakahalaga mo sa mata, sa puso, sa plano ng Diyos. Palakpakan natin natin, Panginoon. I am saved. What's next, please? 
walk in spiritual and emotional maturity. Remember this. Look at me. You cannot be. You can be emotionally mature. You can be emotionally mature because of the discipline that you you learn from your child from your parents, right? As you grow up. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're spiritually mature. But if you are spiritually mature, dapat emotionally mature ka din. Spiritual maturity must have the fruit of our emotional maturity. It is about having the fruit of true conversion. Yung may binago, binabago, at handang magpabago para kay Kristo. It is about trusting God on all the seasons of our lives, using our test to be our testimony, reflecting Jesus in our words and in our deeds. It's about having true repentance. Yung hindi na paulit-ulit na kasalanan, lalot mahirap na talikuran na kasalanan. Alam nyo ba, yung mahirap, the, 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 the sins that is so difficult for us to repent from, if you overcome this, if you become victorious from this, that is such a beautiful, wonderful story that you have written in the gates of heaven, right? Amen? Yeah? Lalo't mahirap na talikuran na kasalanan na ating mapagtagumpaya. Napakagandang istorya niyan sa ating aklat sa pintuan ng langit. It's about giving the Holy Spirit total freedom to shape our born again spirit. Remember, when you accept Jesus Christ, you are born again, baby ka pa lang. Are you with me? Amen? Right? Sino dito yung pinanganak ng paglabas na paglabas mo? No? Paglabas na paglabas mo. Sinabi mo sa nanay mo, pengi yung pagkain. Dodo, dodo, dodo. Sino yung lumabas? Naglakad ka agad. Aba, tiyanak yun. <laughs> Naglakad ka agad. Oh. Tiyanak yun, di ba? <laughs> Remember, you are born again. Born again. Babies in Christ. You need a family such as ACCI family to lead you and guide you towards maturity. And once you mature in Christ, you, God will use you now to, to, to mentor also and to take care of new born again babies. Now you have a purpose. Amen? Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, magpapastor ka. Right? Magpapastor ka. Allow your leaders to nurture you. Allow your leaders to train you. Allow your leaders to teach you how to read the Bible, to feed you spiritual feedings. Amen? And to flex that muscle. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag overacting. Action kailangan. <laughs> It is to work to have all no, to all the parts of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Can we say? Uh, can we enumerate the the fruit of the Spirit? Hindi po yan fruits, ha? Fruit. Paglaglag ang isa, laglag lahat ng prutas. Okay. Hindi po pwede yung oh I have three. Hmm. Wala yung six. Uy, I have eight. Hmm. Wala yung one, laglag pa rin yan. Amen? So napakaganda po nito. This is how to check yourself if you're walking in the Spirit. Say it with me now. Love, Love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and You want to know how to respond to things in your life? Rem memorize this. You want to, to, to respond how, how, how you want to know how to respond to people who are unlovable? You want to respond to people who hurt you? Amen? This is how to respond. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Loving reminder, God cannot be mocked. We reap what we sow. It is about dying to self. And let Jesus live in us. It is to focus on Jesus on all the seasons of our life. And let me remind you, by the way, we are at war. We are at war. Every day, the enemy is working so hard to win you back. But we must not, be, we, not we must not cower in fear. 
Because God did not give you a spirit of fear, but He gave you a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. We are soldiers of God. Amen. We are soldiers of God. Let's also declare war with Satan. You know why? Because if we do declare war with him, takot sa sayo. He will fear you. Amen. Those who cannot declare war with Satan, Satan knows that you fear him. But if we declare, labang ka, no. Di ba? Right? Yung kita mo na bubuli, Satan is a bully. Right? Bubulihin ka ni Satan. You know, pag, hmm, sumang kita kay Jesus. No. Wage war. That's how to face bullies, right? Face bullies. Let's face bullies. You know, let me just share this with you. Baptism is one way to wage war with Satan. Hello? Baptism is not a prerequisite to salvation. Baptism, Jesus Christ showed us what the true meaning of baptism is. He went to John the Baptist who was baptizing a baptism uh, of repentance. Yeah, behold, the kingdom of God is here. Jesus Christ is the kingdom of God, the plan of God, the mind of God, the heart of God. And the plan of God is to save you and me. Amen. And then Jesus Christ went to, to John the Baptist. And then John the Baptist says, no, 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 wait, wait. It is you who have to baptize me. I'm not worthy even to tie your sandal. But Jesus Christ said, no. These things has to happen so that all righteousness, say it with me, all righteousness. All righteousness shall be fulfilled. And then he was baptized. And then John the Baptist didn't know what that meant. It was a symbolism that Jesus Christ was sharing. He will die and rise up again. He will die and rise up again. If we if we allow ourselves or desire or to want to be baptized in water, two things you need to know. You know what you're doing. Number two, you trust the Lord more than you trust anything else. Amen? Amen. So, when you're baptized, you die to yourself. And then you rise up as a new creation, as Jesus Christ. Amen? Baptism is not a baptism in church. Diba? Ako po nabaptize noon eh. No, hindi ko nga alam eh. Uh, yung uh, binasa yung ulo ko, nung malita ko. Right? And then that was the baptism that we have accepted. You can never see any of that in the Bible. For babies, it was a dedication. Amen? Dedication. Baptism is that. When we are baptized, we rise up and we tell, I am a child of God. And Satan, I don't like you. I wage war against you. Amen? And when you do that, remember, the heavens opened when Jesus Christ was baptized. The Holy Spirit no, uh, in, in the form of a dove, no, nagpunta sa kanya, and then, and then Jesus Christ was there, a true picture of the Trinity, God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, right? Amen? He was there. That's why when you offer yourself for baptism, so many things will happen to you. Number one, the Holy Spirit will descend upon you. There will be power. You will be, you will be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Amen? And number three, the enemy will test you just like he tested the he tested Jesus Christ in the wilderness. Amen? Right? But you will win this. Why? Because now the Holy Spirit is with you. <laughs> so if you need to know about more about uh, being baptized in water. You will be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Not of any religious sect, but in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please approach your life leaders, your life group, your pastors who are here today. Amen po ba? Yeah. And we, uh, every, every month, uh, month, monthly tayo, no? Every, end, every, wala pang date. But um, uh, we, we, next week, may baptism po tayo next week, okay? But if you want to be baptized, come. You know, um, 
approach your, fa your leaders, approach your pastors. No? Amen pa ba? Amen. Then accepting Jesus is about trusting Jesus, the steering wheel of our lives. Okay? Today, madaming kilala si Jesus. Ngunit hindi nag -e effort na kilalanin si Jesus ng lubusan. Kaibigan, pusuan natin ng ating sarili. Check our hearts. Tayo ba ay lumalapit kay Kristo dahil nahila lang tayo ng ating emosyon? Do we come to Jesus Christ because of our emotions? We're marred with problems. We're coerced to come. <laughs> Kaibigan, nais ni Lord, maging close tayo sa Kanya. He wants us to be close to Him. Let's know who He is. He is there in the Bible. And He can be experienced. Amen? He can be experienced. What Jesus Christ needs is, wants is for us to know Him. But the question is, are we serious about wanting to know Him? Do you really know Jesus? Nasaan kaya si Kristo sa biyahe natin sa mundo? Where is Jesus Christ in our journey here on earth? Is, is He the driver of our life? Is he, does He hold the steering wheel of our life? Or is He only at the back seat of our life? Jesus is knocking at our door. He's knocking at the door. The door is our heart. I remember in Isaiah, he says, Come, let's reason together. Though your sins are as red as scarlet, I can turn them white as snow. He says, Let's reason together. Let's talk. In Revelation chapter 3, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, you know, there was one one event where there were so many young painters and master painters. And they presented their paintings. And then they were there and the master painted painter presented his, his own painting. Such a beautiful painting of a door. Beautiful painting of a door. It's like life lifelike door and the master asked both the young and the old painters master painters what do you see what can you say about my my painting the masters the old master says bravo magnifico you are an artist you are you are a master beautiful door everybody was clapping And then at the end of the event, one young painter approached the master. And he was nervous. He asked the master, uh, Master, uh, can, 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 I, can I say something about your painting? And then the master says, What? Why? What is it that you want to tell me about my painting? And he says, Uh, Master, the door. What about the door? The door has no knob. And the master was so, so glad that this young painter took notice of it. The door he painted the door of our hearts and nobody can open it from outside it's only from the inside that you can open it for Jesus it's not your religion it's not your parents it's not your culture it's only you who can open up your heart to Jesus I don't know I don't know where you stand now. I I am not I, I will never judge you. But knowing 
Jesus is the best thing that I have never I have ever I've ever decided in my life opening my heart to Jesus it was not easy it was difficult so many things that I have to give up and the more the more painful things are the times of pruning in my life but I can I will never never regret have you totally accepted Jesus Christ in your life can we all stand?